Hello, hello everybody. Welcome here on Facebook Live. And we have beautiful Patina restaurant. And I have Chance with me, my host and my actor, I have to say, my screenwriter as well. Lovely assistant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and this is my lovely assistant. And we both want to taste today two different waters. And I think the two different waters cannot be even more different than they are. Because one of them is uh, Svalbardi from Norway, and the other one is Frederick Church Joseph Gjugingvix, oh my god, I cannot even pronounce that, from Hungary. And the two differences in this waters are, one is an iceberg water, and the other water comes from a hot spring. Uh, TDS levels, because we always know, huh, water has taste, and it always depends how different the taste is, depends on the different mineral levels, and the TDS level of this water, because it comes from an iceberg, is extremely low, versus this one is extremely high. And we both want to see it today, we both want to react how we're tasting these waters. So let's start with the iceberg water. And friends, let me know a little bit. So do you think water has taste? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, well, I guess just between bottled water and tap water is definitely a big taste difference, but yeah. I mean, that's most of my experience. Yeah, I think so too. And this interesting part here really, so Svalbardi water, polar iceberg water, comes from Norway. They are a limited production of 13,000 bottles. So you cannot really get so many bottles what you want. And they were very, very kind and sent me this over to taste the water. And for me, it's today the first time as well to get the taste of the water. I love this beautiful like little cap here made of Norway wood. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's beautiful. Huh? That's like very nice. And when the iceberg on there as well a little bit, that's pretty cool. And let's see how the water tastes like, huh? So this is a very, very low middle water, and they're really harvesting icebergs in Norway before they're diluting into the sea, and then you cannot drink the iceberg water anymore because when it's diluted into the sea, it's salt water. So they're pulling the icebergs away, melting it down, and then bottling it. So it's very, very hard to get this water, and let's see, it says TDS, 21, so super, super low. Here we go, have a taste. Cheers, friends. Cheers. What do you think? I like it, it's really smooth and almost, almost sweet, actually. Yeah, I think so too, but it has a very interesting aftertaste, I think. Mm -hmm. I think so too, it's super smooth, it's very, very smooth, the water. That's really remarkable on it. It is a little bit on the sweeter side, but the aftertaste, I have to double check again. That's very mm -hmm. interesting. Here we go. Almost like earthy or something like this, huh? Mm. It's like, it's, it's a little, when you're drinking it, it's very interesting. When you drink water on a regular base, everybody thinks like, okay, it's getting like very refreshing in your palate. I think it's not really refreshing. It's very smooth, very subtle in your mouth, almost like velvet, but it's not really what I would say like, oh, I feel like, like this, this chill factor or this refreshing factor is somehow missing in this water. And that wouldn't be from the minerality, would it? Because it's so low. It's Correct. Like something else. And I think this is exactly what you're, this the right approach, what mm -hmm. you're saying. It's all about the mineral content. And iceberg waters are normally that they don't feel like really extremely refreshing mm -hmm. in your palate because it's missing the minerals and the minerals come, it's, it's interacting with your mm -hmm. palate. It's the same when you're eating a soup with no salt. Huh? The soup, yeah, sure, you eat this, you, you eat the soup, but it's not really, there's something missing, mm -hmm. what you would feel. Mm -hmm. you know, something is like, hmm, it's kind of off or something like this. And this is exactly what I think this water is as well. I think it's a great water. I really love the taste. I like it a lot. It's very, very smooth, but it, hasn't, it doesn't have this kick to the end or something. It's like subtle, smooth, stays longer in the palate, what I think as well, and then it's like over. I think earthy is a very good word for it as well, that aftertaste. Yeah, very interesting. But I love the bottle. It's a very, very beautiful product like this. This shape here, when it comes in this beautiful case. Um, I think they did an amazing job um, on the bottle shape, 
it really really looks good and I love like the cap as well made from real wood that is pretty 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 cool okay the next one we're going to Hungary and this water and we said here 21 TDS this one has a TDS of 19,700 I never had this kind of water in my that whole is, life that is insane so a lot of people, and I think a lot of people knows when I'm drinking Roy, I'm always saying like the big boys, and Roy is very, very mineralic, and Roy has a TDS of 7,400. So what, what would you say the average bottle bar that most Americans are used to drinking the TDS level would have? Between 100 and 500. 100 and 500. Yeah, that is like the average bottle mm -hmm. water. Like Fiji water, what everybody knows here, has a TDS of 222. Wow. So Roy from Slovenia has a TDS of... 7,400. So this is 40 times the average American <laughs> yes. bottle of water what yes. we're used to. So this is 19,700 aus Hungary. You up for it? I think so. I think I'm ready. We both are brave. Huh? <laughs> let's, let's see. Look, you already can see the, the, uh, the fire department is showing up. Because <laughs> they heard about this. Maybe mm. we need to take some emergency uh, water or something like this. To trip it down. It looks like water. Huh? So it will be very interesting. So when you see both waters are still, and I will pour a little bit more of the Norwegian water in there. And I think the little yeah. settlements, what you see, I think yeah. it's more like our polished racks. Mm. Yeah, it's almost it's indistinguishable really, yeah. like just looking at it from uh, so let's see there. Let's see what the audience is saying here. Look at this. Huh? So this is the beauty about water. It doesn't. This is clear, huh? This is always the cool thing, huh? This is the Norwegian water. This is the water from Hungary. This is 21 TDS. This one, over 17,000. This is crazy. This is really crazy. Okay, let's see. Cheers. Cheers. Holy moly. <laughs> that is insane. That's crazy. That is crazy, guys. Water has taste. So when people are thinking, and I have this all the time, people are thinking like, hey, come on, water doesn't have taste. Mm. Water doesn't have taste. Water should be tasteless. Water is clean. Hey, yeah, it looks like all the same. And here, somebody is from Hungary right now. Hello to <laughs> Hungary. From Los Angeles, huh? Hello to Hungary. Um, Maybe you know this water as well. I think it's famous in Hungary, huh? Here we go. Here we go. It's crazy, but it's, I think it's remarkable. Mm -hmm. This water is remarkable. It's a really complex taste as well. It's like yeah. you get like a really, when you first taste it, a very big like salty sensation, mm -hmm. but it's not just the salt. There's, yeah. there's, there's way else there. more. There's a lot and let's see what's in there actually, guys. Um, natrium. 2,440, calcium, 300, magnesium, 1,660, uh, sulfate, and this is the highest one, 11,600, and then overall TDS, 19,700. This is the highest TDS water I ever drank in my whole life as a water sommelier. This is quite something. Hungry, you did a great job. <laughs> this is really something special. But then we're always saying like, yeah, water should be pairing. Huh? For me as a sommelier, I want to pair water. And I think now when I tasted the Norwegian water, um, this is something great for wine. Like imagine you have a red wine like Bordeaux, a lot of tannins or something mm. like this. It will smooth out the tannins. But here now the Hungarian water, uh, I, cannot, I cannot pair this to anything. Mm. And I think this is something, and I will show you why I will put this Maybe in. Maybe the, the minerals after a workout, getting back those electrolytes. Oh, definitely. <laughs> but I think this is something so unique from Mother Nature. I will put into a cognac tumbler, what I'm doing right now. Huh? And this is something you want to appreciate by yourself. <laughs> yeah. huh? I think this is like really uh, something very special by yourself. Yeah. And this is like, for people who are sober, who doesn't want to drink alcohol or something like this, this is the ultimate um, appreciation of mm. water. Keep your senses busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
this is the right thing to say. It's really keep your senses really busy. Mm. And again, huh? Water is not just water. And you can see it every day here at the Tina restaurant that water is not just water. And this is quite something. And I have to say, to see the two differences right now from Norway versus Hungary, that is quite amazing. And that is really, really something very, very unique. That's and again, incredible. it looks the same, but it doesn't taste the same. And this is the beauty about water in general. Okay, here we go. Thank you so much for watching today our Facebook Live video. Cheers to everybody. Cheers, Chance. I hope you had some fun here today. Oh, oh crazy. And please follow me here on our social media channel here on Facebook. There's a lot of other water tastings uh, coming along. And maybe with Shans even as well. We should do this more often. Because that's we kind should. of fun. Absolutely. That's kind of cool. So I'm standing behind the bar. I have to somehow press the finish button now. So I have to run around the bar and try to finish the finish button. So Chance will be like your, your only man in the picture mm -hmm. right now. But I think he can handle this well. Great to see you guys. And here we go. Thanks again. See you guys. I hope I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.